right, ready? Well, today I'm excited, Don, to say that we're gonna address one of the most important topics during this COVID-19 crisis. What if I need to sell my home right now? What can I and what should I do? Well, I guarantee most of you, uh, most of uh, all of us are a little paralyzed at home uh, with the pandemic and thinking, I'm just gonna wait. But maybe that's not the answer, especially if you need to sell your home for one reason or another, whether it's job, or growth in the family, having a baby, or just want to, this may actually be a great time for you to sell because of many reasons, right, Gino? Yeah, so a couple of things is, one of them is there's not a lot of uh, inventory on the market. We already lived in a strangled inventory market, and so now we've effectively reduced the inventory because people don't want to move, so they don't want to sell their homes. So if you go to place your home, you're going to be one of the few homes that's on the market. It doesn't mean you can definitely demand top dollar, but it does mean that you're going to get some eyeballs because everyone's sitting at home shopping for homes. Boom. <laughs> well, that's the thing now, um, because we have figured it out. Everybody has adjusted rather quickly in our industry. At least those that you should be working with have adjusted. I know like with Finance America, we're 100 percent across our entire company nationwide. Everybody working for home and work and as efficient, if not more efficient than ever right now because of technology. So rest assured that with technology, you can sell your home visually and safely without a doubt. So what's really important is that you hire the right professional. So make sure that you're using someone who's got a massive online presence, somebody that's a digital marketer and somebody that's been a digital marketer for the last few years, not someone who just figured out how to use Matterport this week. Um, so you want to make sure that you do everything possible, virtual tours, virtual listings, uh, 3D, uh, 3D maps of the house. You want to make sure that you use all of that technology. Is it going to cost you maybe a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars in technology? Maybe, maybe not because your real estate professional may cover that for you in their services. Right. And, and the good point too, like you mentioned, Gino, is right now it's perfect timing because a lot of people are thinking now's not the time to sell. Oh, wait, wait a minute. That means if you wait to the normal spring push, then you're going to be uh, going up against all the other people trying to sell their homes. So right now you have kind of a captive market. And like Gino said, a lot of, a lot of us are sitting at home with time in our hands to look at homes virtually. So now might be a great time to sell your home. Yeah, I really think it is. It's just a matter of using the right listing agent, pricing it correctly. We can't stress enough how important it is that you do not overprice your home if you want to get activity. But if you price it correctly and you show it virtually correctly, uh, there is definitely a good opportunity to sell a home right now. And like you mentioned, Don, one of the things that's scary is imagine how many homes are going to come on the market all at the same time as soon as we're uh, out of this mess. So Yeah, as soon as we know we can do open houses and the such, then yeah, it's going to be a, a free for all out there. And we have a lot of pent up demand. We were down to... in. For, for example, in our area outside of Los Angeles, we were down to 300 homes for 300,000 people. So there is still not enough inventory out there and there are people are still looking for homes. And the other thing is with now the virtual thing and people having time to look at homes virtually, I'm telling you, they're gonna fall in love with homes just looking at homes virtually because I know I was one of those people and I jumped in when I really wasn't planning on it, but when I saw two or three homes that I really liked, I jumped at it. Yeah. So moral of the story is it's not a bad time to sell your home. And if you have to sell your home right now, you just have to make sure you choose the right agent, the one that has the skill set to work in this market and sell your property in this market and have an honest conversation about your bottom line price and do not overprice your home. Those are our oh, tips. And the other advantage, if you are selling your home now to purchase another home, this may be one of the best times ever to purchase another home due to the fact the rates are at historical lows and your purchasing power is probably the best ever. So this could be- For a argument's sake, Don, and these aren't real numbers, we could do a presentation for you with real numbers. But what if you sold a home that you were currently at four and a half interest rate on, and then you bought a home at a three and a half interest rate on? Do you think your payment could possibly be similar even if you're buying a more expensive home? So don't just look at refinancing. Look at this as a move up opportunity. I think it's a great one. All right. Thanks again for tuning in to the National Real Estate Cafe where daily we try to give you all the up-to-date information, more important than ever. So please go to donandgino.com 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can get these sent right to your phone by texting NREC to the number 58885. Thanks for tuning in today and stay safe.